Well, nice to be with you again, and I'm so encouraged to uh, learn about all the groups that are meeting and following um, our Matthew series um, as we are working through line by line, verse by verse, paragraph by paragraph, uh, Matthew's gospel, in which, uh, as you know, um, is all about Jesus as the Messiah. He's the one. He is the one. And in our text um, f- from Sunday, in the sermon, we zeroed in on a small section in Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. And I just want to read it again to refresh uh, you um, and your group. Jesus said, or it says in verse 18 of chapter 4, while walking by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him, and going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, and the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, his father, or their father, mending their nets. And he called them. And immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him, followed Jesus. You'll remember in the sermon that we unpacked in depth the metaphor, fishers of men, against the backdrop of what fishing was like in the first century. It was hard work. It was um, time-consuming. It required a lot of patience. It required a lot of thought and planning. It indeed was all-consuming. It was an all-consuming work. What's more, it was not a leisure activity. Uh, It wasn't a hobby. It was these, it was livelihood. It was vastly important for the economy and the livelihood of not only the fishermen, but the towns in which they lived. And so when Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, the metaphor does not allow us to, does not allow for a change and say this is going to be easy. But it follows the same metaphor. It follows the same idea. It's going to be hard. Sometimes you're going to catch a lot of fish or a lot of men, as it were. Sometimes you won't. It's going to require patience. It's going to require thought, planning. And it's not a leisure activity. It's not something that you do when you're bored. It is all-consuming. It's what you think about all the time. That's what this metaphor, fishers of men, means. And it is pointing to Jesus' entire ministry was about people. It was about lost people. And so Jesus, when he says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, in other words, he's going to say, you're going to be about lost people. And also in that phrase, I will make you fishers of men, is a promise. It wasn't a, you know what, follow me and you can cross your fingers, it might happen that I will make you fishers of men, reach lost people. It's a promise, it's a guarantee, I will make you that. And also it's exclusive, I myself will do it. No other person can, no other person will, and you yourself can't do it on your own. And then is the, not the invitation, but the command, Follow me. Follow me. And we talked about the implications of if we say we follow Jesus, which many of us do, by definition of following him, you will have a heart for the lost, lost, whether it's on your campus or at work, your family members, your friends, at a coffee shop, at a restaurant, It will be preeminent in how you think about the world and think about people and where you go. Sure, you have your studies if you're a college student. You have your responsibilities as an employee at work. And those are all really important. But standing above that, you are a fisher of men because you follow Jesus. 
You think about the lost as you're living your life, wherever you go, and casting the net of the gospel. This is the call of Jesus, and this is the promise that Jesus will turn you and me and us as a church family, your group, into people who reach the lost with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So here's my, my big question. I think the big question of this text is, are you following him? I mean, are you really following Jesus? You're learning from Jesus in his word. And how would you know? Well, how we know is this. Gauge whether or not you love lost people. Gauge whether or not you're thinking about the lost wherever you go. It's not all you think about, but you're always thinking about it. And you're desiring people to come to Christ. That is how you know you're following him. And so in your group, challenge one another on that. It's not about information acquiring about Jesus. It's about proclaiming the work of Christ on the cross to others around you. That's what it means to be a fisher of men, to reach the lost. This is why you know as a church family, we say our mission is to proclaim the gospel to all of creation. Those are the words of Jesus. And to make disciples of all the nations. And it's all for the glory of God. And it's all for the joy, the eternal joy of all people, including you, including me, in Christ Jesus and him alone. I hope you enjoy your study and your time together as you work through the questions provided for you now. God bless you.